Here at Google I.O. 2016, there's a lot of new stuff to see. Android Auto has been updated a little. There's some new stuff in there, and there's a video that you can check out on that as well on this very channel. But what we're going to talk about here is the Android in-car concept. Google worked with Qualcomm to effectively tear apart a Maserati, yeah, pretty red Maserati, and replace the dash components and the gauge clusters on that dash with screens that are powered by a Snapdragon 820 processor running full on Android. This Android in-car concept is a, an attempt to see what Android might look like if it were handed off to the OEMs in terms of cars, a lot in the same way we hand off Android to OEMs who manufacture devices. This is a full version of Android running on an actual car. And what this means is that you can do a lot more things with Android. This is a really big deal because with the projected version of Android Auto, it's running on the device that's plugged into the car and you're only seeing different things on the display. In this case, the car is actually running Android. So what that means is that you have a lot more control over the actual vehicle. If you've ever seen what a dashboard looks like in a Tesla, it's a lot like that. You can control seats, uh, heat and cooling, any of the amenities that are in the vehicle can be controlled through this Android implementation. Of course, since this is Android, there's a really nice tight integration with Google services and all of those other features from Android Auto are definitely still very much there. You still connect to your phone via Bluetooth for calls and music and things of that nature, but the device that's running Android in this case isn't the phone, it's the car itself. This is also a big deal for manufacturers because if they were looking to implement some sort of an infotainment version of Android, they'd have to look to an older version of Android and sort of kind of finagle it to work. Whereas this in-car implementation has been built from the ground up for the kinds of features and API endpoints that these manufacturers might need. If you guys want to know more about this particular implementation of Android in vehicles, you can head over to AndroidPolice.com. We've got a whole bunch more information by our very own David Ruddock. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and as always, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you in the next video.